Hey YouTube man, but with another update, man. Shout out to Doug. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Trump once again destroys MSNBC just by existing. This is one of my favorite <laughs> and most interesting things just about by Trump existing. is how he has kind of the sixth sense to unravel lefty weirdos like Joe Scarborough. He perfectly gets under his skin and gets Joe Scarborough just to start falling apart. Same thing with Mika. So we're going to watch Joe Scarborough completely lose it over Trump calling the J6 protesters that are unfairly uh, in prison going through our justice system, though. He calls them hostages. Spirit from the hostages, and that's what they are, is hostages. They've been treated terribly. That uh, the president or any other leaders would refer to people that are moving through our our uh, justice system uh, as hostages, and uh, it's just it's just unacceptable. Mike Pence once again taking a stand against his former boss. He also refused to endorse Trump for president. The whole world is wondering how is Trump going to win now that Mike Pence decided not to endorse him. What's he going to do? Do you think Trump might have actually increased his chances of winning that he failed to get the Mike Pence endorsement? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's keep Comment going. Comment down below, bro. What the do you think? meltdown of Joe Scarborough and Mika at MSNBC. Mika. We're looking at news here and around the world, but Donald Trump again, the Republican front runner, who's basically clinched the nomination. Right. Uh, addressing one of the first things he'll do in office is free the, and I say this in quote, hostages. It's beyond twisted for him to use that word. Not surprised. I'll tell you why he does it. She's going, look, we're breaking from world news right now to talk about what Trump said. Trump's getting free advertising, free marketing. Once again, just for using words. He didn't even have to set all this stuff up with the media. He didn't have to say, look, we're going to take over MSNBC for a weekend. He also said the word bloodbath about his election. Again, he uses these all caps words. And suddenly all of the media comes and just starts begging at his table for scraps. And they promote his message for him. And that's how he wins. That's how he's always done it. And I think it's just a weird sixth sense that he gets in these people's heads because he does not read from their same Marxist, safe, approved vocabulary list and agenda. Joe Scarborough is going to repeat lies that cops were killed because of J6, which never happened. We have one, we have some people with, they had strokes, they had bad responses to their own, uh, the pepper spray that they were using, um, but none that were actually at the hand of a J6 rioter. And I don't support breaking into buildings. I don't support even crossing any boundaries. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, I, I don't want you guys to get this wrong. I'm only saying it's a lie to say that people killed cops. And it's also a lie for these guys to go after J6 when we have confirmed 25 policemen killed under Black Lives Matter. And that was not by natural causes and by natural things. They were killed, and these guys do not care. I remember the day after uh, Donald Trump and members of his family uh, getting in trouble for calling uh, these rioters mm -hmm. uh, patriots, and, and they backed off. Some of them backed off. Donald Trump now just going straight, weighing straight in, saying that these people were, were patriots and that you know, others saying that this wasn't a bloodbath, I would just suggest that you talk to the wives, sons, and da daughters of those police officers who lost their lives. That's a lie. There's been zero, zero. In fact, only one life was actually lost by the hand of another, and that's Ashley Bath. So these people will not uh, ever pass that truth along. And, and yes, it was, I would say, vandalism, trespassing. There was violence, but it, none of it uh, came to someone's death other than Ashley Babbitt. So these people aren't interested in the truth. But I do like when Joe Scarborough suddenly becomes a racist. Again, pledging allegiance uh, to a convict choir's version of the national anthem. Take a look. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. That's when the J6ers uh, led the, the choir, led the singing, and Trump is saluting them, which I, it's weird because I don't know if it was uh, social. <laughs> it's <Jesus>. weird. <laughs> One of them said that you can always judge a country by its the prisons it keeps. And I no, think that if the J6ers are in there happy and singing our national anthem, that says a lot about our country. Here, here comes Joe Scarborough. He's going to have a outrageous uh, racist revolt against the Irish in this country when he does a crude and stereotypical imitation of them. It's a call. I don't know. Maybe they're brainwashed into it. Uh, but I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. No yeah. apologies. There are a lot of people. Oh, I'm going to travel out of Manhattan where I've lived my entire life and drive into Pennsylvania and try to understand a bit better these. Joe Scarborough making fun of an ethnicity, the Irish. He's going, oh, me frosted lucky charms. Oh, it's time for the great potato famine. Call Bigora with me shillelagh. That's Joe Scarborough making fun of every Irish. You pour me a Guinness. Pour one for my eight-year-old son, too, while we're here. My son who will be in AA by the time he's nine years old. Yeah, that's Joe Scarborough. If we're going to call out making fun of Indian people, and you can't, you know, you can't go around making fun of Indian people, can't make fun of the Jamaicans, you know, him got a nutty dread. We can't do that. <laughs> then why is Joe Scarborough making fun of the Irish? I just think... I, I'm tired of this kind of insensitivity. Is there anyone working in DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion over there at MSNBC? Is there a human resources department, even an operation over there? Someone please turn these people in and send them to immediate sensitivity training for the Irish audience. The Irish are tired of always being called out for being Catholic with the Irish Republican Army and shutting up all their violent things with their shamrock and their shillelagh and their frosted No, you don't have to really drive from the Upper East Side to Scranton to figure out these are people that want an autocrat. These are people who don't like American democracy the way it is because they understand that they lose a fair fight. They don't want a fair fight. They don't want a fair political fight. They just... They want to accept election results when they win, and they want to start a revolution when they lose. He's giving away the Democrat playbook again. The revolt if your guy loses. Remember that. If Trump wins, the left is going to dismantle this country with violence erupting in the streets. And their judges are going to look past it. You already know they all get excused. There'll be no Jace. They'll do the exact same thing as the J6ers. Like they will go and storm the Capitol and they'll burn it all down. They'll they'll kill 50 cops and nothing will happen. It'll be called, oh, I can't believe what Trump did to make them all be that violent. The press has got to wake up and start saying, let's try to understand who these people are. It's time to wake who up with your corned beef, cabbage, St. Patrick. Think, but get your soda bread out, St. Patrick, and your get your cabbage, have your steamed soft cabbage. I'm Doug in exile. Oh, man. Hey, you too, man. Just comment down below what you guys think of this video, man. Just comment down below, and I'll keep on bringing more of this, more of this, more of this, more of this. See you guys next video. Boom.